Once a week, there was a card party at the countryside house of Naramov, the horse's guard. The long winter nights passed away so fast for them that they never sat down for supper before eleven o'clock. Dinner tonight had been delicious. Succulent chicken, roasted vegetables, and a lovely chocolate cake. The winners ate with an excellent appetite. The others sat staring absently at their empty plates. But here it comes, the champagne. Conversation became very interesting, and sitting by the fireplace, they all took part in it. This is a download from audiostory.com. The Queen of Spades, based on a story by Alexander Pushkin. Did you make a full surin? asked the host. Oh no, I lost as usual. I must say it's not fair. I am so unlucky. I play very calm. Don't risk too much. Never roll too big. I always keep cool. I never allow anything to put me out, and yet, I always lose. And you did not once allow yourself to let go and back the red. Your firmness astonishes me. What do you think of Herman? Said one of the guests, pointing to a young engineer. He has never played a card in his hand in his life. He's never bet on any number or any colour of this game in his life. And yet, he sits here till five o'clock in the morning watching our play. I am very much interested in cards, and games indeed, said Herman. But due to my current financial situation, I am not in the position to sacrifice what's necessary in the hope of winning a few books. Herman is Dutch. He's got an economical mind. That is all, observed Tomsky. They laughed and served themselves a second glass of champagne with a toast. After that, Tomsky carried on. But if there is one person that I cannot understand, it's my grandmother. The Countess Anna Fedotovna. Oh, why is that? inquired the guests. I cannot understand, continued Tomsky, how it is that my grandmother does not play card games. What is there remarkable about an old lady not playing cards? She must be around 80, mustn't she, Tom? asked Naramov. Have I never spoken with you about her? I can't believe I never told you the story. No, never. We really have no idea. Oh well, here's the thing. My granny used to be addicted to the game 